Okay. This is Ann and this is Craig. We are at a spooky haunted house somewhere in the forest. Got the flashlight just in case we need it. Let's take a look inside and see what kind of haunted things we see. I don't know. Doesn't look like anybody's there. Oh look, the window's out here. No, I would say nobody's in there. No. Nobody physical. living. <laughs> Big spider web right there. I did not bring a spider stick, although there's plenty around. However, we need to go back around this way and see if we can find another way. I don't think we're gonna need the flashlight in case we, I mean, unless we find a spooky haunted thing, like a like a secret room or something that's dark and gloomy. Do you need a spider stick? Halloween Eve, Halloween evening. It's not quite Halloween night yet. Technically, I guess it could be. It's like four. Okay, here's. Oh, yeah. oh I'm walking over the corpse of a werewolf, I think. Yeah, that must be it. The werewolf was shedding anyway. There's the old porch back over there. I don't know, but a lot of people died here. We're just out here in the middle of nowhere. It's just farm country. It's got to be here. Okay, let's go around this bend here. Oh my, look at that. That indeed does look like a haunted farmhouse out here in the country. This or that? Um, maybe Ooh. this way. Oops, hold on. Let me go first because there's some stickery looking plants here. And I have a glove just in case there are spiders. Oh. These too, my God. This is like is that holly? Yeah. That? But it's stickery. Just step on it and you can go over it. That's what I did. I think I only got cut twice. Come to me. All right. This is the inside porch, or the porch that goes to the inside. Mm -hmm. The spooky haunted house. You got clipped. There we go. Okay, you go first in case it's haunted. Yeah, that's typically the way, eh? Oh. Oh, look, one of those little old-fashioned mini TVs. <laughs> Let's turn it on see if it works. Yeah, right. That'd be crazy. It comes I'm up sure. with or if it like the on Dick Van Dyke show. Whoa, here's an old shoe. Old bride's shoe. He stood here by the window waiting, and he never came home. Whoa, there's an animal carcass. No. Haunted Where? shit right there. Whoa. Where? Right there with the bones and stuff. Oh, Ew. what is it? I don't know. Don't touch. What? I don't think so. Yeah, I make a habit of that. You have to watch me. I'm always grabbing dead animal cards. Grab the now. dead animal. Okay. Yeah. What else have we here? Let's go in here. It's a display more. case in the living room. That's strange, but that's what people do. Here's an old picture. The Last Supper. Probably the, you know, next to last. At least. Here's the bathroom in case you gotta go. Ooh, look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Katie's wallpaper right there. Look, the ceiling's falling into the cabin on the floor. Somebody didn't want to take a bath in that. Here's the hooter. Oh, yeah, definitely not the kind of place you want to stay the night. But we are. 
We're staying the entire night in this haunted house to see if we can find the ghosts that once were people who lived here. There's the window we were at earlier. We were looking in this way. Tiny little house. There's a little crockery cup. Ooh, there's a, an axe handle. I wonder where the axe went. Yeah, well, where's, where's the head of the axe? It's buried in the buried homeowner's the skull. You buried outside in the yard. It's out here. Ooh. That's creepy. What? Oh, I found the spooky attic. I don't know if I want to go up in there though. Where's my flashlight? Give me a second while I get that out. It's dark over here. Oh. It's got dark? Alright, let's go see what else there is to see here. That makes a creepy noise when you walk. It scared the pee pee out of me. I heard you in the back, but it's like. You weren't here, but it's like, I guess the movement. I thought that was a spirit. You found a dead fish? Oh. A dead stuffed Yeah, but it is dark in here. Here's the other shoe. Equally rat eaten. What is this? Spider webs on me. Some kind of weird metal thingy. But they didn't care enough about to take with them. It's a old computer parts. Ooh boy, this room has vibes in it. I don't like it here. Anybody watching this video picks up any vibes from here? I didn't like the other room. Oh, I really don't like this room much. Yeah, oh. The financier. I'm, okay. some I'm coming vibes. over. I'm working my way over. Trying to see what's... Inherited deception. Clothes. Sand, cool Clyde, and stuff. Sister. How to keep your kids on your team. Paths toward freedom. I wonder what that is. <laughs> Postern of fate. Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie. Curtain. Windmills of the gods. Woo. I didn't know they had windmills. In Patagon. <laughs> Paths toward freedom. Very apropos title right now. <laughs> Is there one that involves getting your clot shot? <laughs> I would like to see what this is about, but freedom. I kind of don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch that, not even with my gloves on. I would with gloves. Yeah, this is kind of creepy. Oh, there's a whole bunch of old checks. Oh. Is my name on it? No, they've long since been run through, I suspect. That account been done dried. Whoops, there's a piece of... Glass. That's kind of cool. Almost stepped on. Oh, this must mm -hmm. be from a light. Mermaid butter cookies. Oh, look. Shoot. I'll pass. Never mind. Ooh, rat piss for days back there. Not just Ugh. the piss. Rat poopies. I see. Oh, my God. The but, pillow. Ah. Yeah. We're going to have to scrape our shoes off. Ew. Get friction burn going. Well, what are your vibes in here? That one was a little. Not just. Physically darker, but energetically darker. This feels a little lighter. Yeah. I don't sense any. I don't sense anything here right now, but I have the strong feeling that. There's like stuff, residual creepiness. Well, that stuff hangs here, yeah. Seriously, residual creepy factor in this joint. Well, you just look around. This is the kind, of, and it would have to be. It's largely negative too because of the filth in here. Negative aggressive beings like crap and filth. An old fireplace. No one's used in centuries. Yeah. It's an old chair. 
All right, well, we did not find a box of gold coins like I'd hoped. Where's <laughs> I hope that every time, though, actually. Hey, but I, I would not want to go into the attic. I was shining a light up there. It didn't look fun. Uh, no. You want to boost? I'll boost you up. No? Okay. Not today. <laughs> not at this place. No. If it looks like this down here, can you imagine what the attic must look like? Let's see if we can hear any sounds. Let's see if we can get any. Well, that was a sound. But that's the crunch of ancient linoleum. All right, coating. let's do. Okay, if there's anything still residing in this house, any spiritual energies or any spirits, make a sound. Let us know you're here. Please. Si vous plaît. Por favor. I don't hear anything. Mm -hmm. Give it a moment. Sounds creepy. Yes, hornet's nest. Ooh. Even though this place is so creepy, even the hornets don't linger. The hornets done died. That's what they left long ago. Bad juju in here. All right. Are there any spirits in this house that wish to communicate with us? Make a sound. Can you knock on the walls? Crickets chirping. I hear a digital. Literally. <laughs> That was fun. I got to say crickets Okay, so maybe it's not haunted, but it's really hard to rule out anything in an old house because they could all be haunted. Sometimes the spirits just watch you and they don't talk. But, you know, that's just how it can go sometimes. I'm watching my step here because you can easily go through a floorboard here. Now, there's a door here. That room, I don't even see that. Where's the door? Oh, this one. Yeah. Does it look like a window from the inside? So. Anyway, this is Ann and, and Craig, and we are heading to the Haunted Cemetery now. Yes. So that, uh, that's something else we'll check off the uh, Halloween to-do list here momentarily. But for now, we are departing this haunted abode. Here we are. This is Craig. And we are in the McCall Cemetery. Although we're not in McCall, we're in Bennettsville. This one caught our eye. We thought this was kind of funny. Charles Spencer McCall says that he's the, the poor man's friend. Well, he's with the, his ginormous. He's the cemetery's namesake, McCall. Yeah. So I guess he gets the big rock. Big ass mason. Yeah, he's got his big G here. He's yeah. probably buried under that friggin' G. And the compass. Yeah, Masons. And the G. Are, this is what they do. This is what when you're a Mason, you're in the club, everybody helps each other. And, you know, they're the people that are, are the root of the problems we have today. Not their problems. They don't have problems because they're all in the same group. They just uh, create life, you know, problems for everybody else on the planet. Basically enslaving everyone through corporate systems and all that business. But... Uh, that's neither here nor there. You know, the Masons are, are just garbage. That's that's what the G stands for, garbage. I have no problem speaking ill of some piece of trash Mason by his grave. Doesn't bother me. What? He was uh, a member of the famous Hampton Legion of the CSA. Oh, wow. So he was in the conf Confederate side of the Civil War. He was a mayor of Bennettsville. For a while. And he was in state, state senate. Senate tour from 1877. Yeah, and that's what you know. These, these masons the that they just they help each other. They yeah. go up to the top as far as yeah. they can go. They elevate each other around and have their secret little parties, and then it all leads to raping and murdering children. And if you think I'm full of crap for saying that, then you don't know crap. But most of you know that, so I'm not going to say anything. That's just the way that is. It's all coming out. All the facts are there. But let's look around here. 
Wayne Newton's grave. <laughs> I don't think that's Wayne's son. Should be. <laughs> I bet he's as fancy as a man. He ain't dead yet, but he probably has one. Well, I'm telling you. Cornelius sure. M. Graham. Sure that sounds one. like a steampunk name. Cornelius. Here we go, walking back into the haunted cemetery. Look at this fence. Look at that tree. The tree's been there for centuries. Glad Shall we dare to enter? Oh, look at the graves, they're all rockety. Which family is this? Thomas A. Odom. Odom. This is the Odom. It's missing a piece of fence there. Must have blown away in the last hurricane. Is there an airplane in every video we make? <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> probably not. It's probably not a Southwest or an American flight though. <laughs> no. Depends on how many pilots they got they left. Just cancel 1500 of them. Again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. For Halloween. Just for, a time. For Halloween. Yeah, I don't see how they cancel flights for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yeah. Oh, the weather was bad. Even though there wasn't any. It's a big cemetery. Yeah. Thing is, all these here, though, big yeah. fancy rich people and all their groups and clubs, they all still end up right there in the ground. Buried over. Can't do no more harm. Yeah, people don't know, but the vampires are real. You know, there's stories and movies and all that. It's fictionalized to a great extent. But vampires are definitely real. Well, that's probably kind of a hard pill to swallow for some, but it, it's true. Uh, they're not vampires in the Hollywood sense of vampires. No. But they're blood drinkers, they're killers. And they, in uh, a sense, yeah. the whole undead thing that they talk about in the vampire story, it's true. These people drink adrenochrome, so they live longer. It's such that, and they're working on that, those uh, little... Oh, yes, the, uh, the Hydra... Vulgaris in nature. I don't know how many of you seen the Kara Madej update on her examination at two different labs of the contents of two different companies yep. vaccine serums and in both cases this thing showed up, this Hydra multi-headed tentacle of one. It's like the size of a grain of rice. It, right? it, it's smaller. Oh yeah, the, the one that they made. Well, they, even the, the, the artificial uh, one is super tiny, the and it gets in your bloodstream through small. the needles. Yes, and that's what they put in. How many motorcycles got to be going by when I'm making a video? It really takes away the haunted element of the haunted cemetery. Oh. So anyway, I'll cut this part out. So anyway, they're hoping to use these hydras that they're injecting into the bloodstream through the needles to prolong life, possibly indefinitely. If these things kind of merge with your DNA and modify it like they're hoping, uh, it'll keep repairing your body over and over in some sense or another. And, you know, maybe it won't last a million years, but you might get another couple hundred out of it. That's part of their plans for the yeah. remainder of humanity, the ones that they don't kill off, is to be, <laughs> quote, immortal. And they see it as their gift to us. The name for the synthetic copy of this uh, teeny tiny creature in nature is called Hydra Linaris. There's even a, they have a name for it, and it's all about immortality, baby. Because yeah, these little creatures this is are what virtually... they really are going after, and people just would people refuse to believe or accept such a thing because it sounds ludicrous, and it is. It does sound ludicrous? And you may be wondering why would they want regular people to be immortal? Yeah, it's not a gift per se. No. It's not a gift for them because, hey, you know what? If you live a couple hundred more years, well, guess what? You get to keep working a couple hundred more years for them. And they totally will 
sap every little bit of your loose and your soul will be gone. Yeah. It will be splintered forever. So, you know, that's part of what some of the vaccines are about. Um, these things can just as easily kill you off anytime they want, as well as keep you alive indefinitely. So, you know, th these things are thought through. They're not just kill shots like we originally estimated. No. And then we thought, well, there's four different kinds. Maybe they do four different things. You know, some will die, some will be used as slaves, and some will have brain control and whatever. But um, it's starting to look like there's even more layers to this than, than we originally thought. So... You know, vampires, these people have been sucking blood and drinking blood and adrenochrome out of children and, and scaring them until they're so hyped up and freaked out on adrenaline that they, uh, that, that, that when they drink their blood, they get this rush out of it. And apparently it, it helps uh, preserve their lives their longer. Aging yeah, process, it slows yeah. their aging. I mean, look at Bill Clinton. If that dude doesn't get his adrenochrome fixed, he looks like he's about to kill. And. Yeah, you know, well, he had a blood disorder a couple of weeks ago. Bill Clinton was in the hospital with some kind of weird blood disorder. Hmm. Yeah, he got a hold of the wrong kid, probably. And got a bad one, I guess. They Turned should... on him. <laughs> you know, that was Every now and then. Good batch, apparently. Get a bad batch. Well, we hear the Hollywood celebrities are talking about it. They talk about it. And Who was that guy that was ranting in his car the, that one time last year? Some guy went off on some bizarre tirade. Guy that played Lone Ranger, I forget. But anyway, yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, I mean these people talk openly about the blood they drink Arm and the, the stuff they do. Yeah, Army Hammer. And these people, they don't even try to keep it a secret. Yeah. So the thing is, when people are talking about this kind of stuff, it's probably a good idea to take them at their word. But people don't want to because they're, you know, oh, it's just too far fetched, too fantastic. Ridiculous. But that's what your real vampires are. Those people are, you know, Bram Stoker knew all this. When he wrote his book about Dracula, he wrote all these things, fictionalized it, made yes. it a little bit absurd, you know, turning into bats and whatever and burning up when you touch the sunlight. Those things aren't know, necessarily true. But uh, yeah, he wrote about what he knew of all this and fictionalized it. And that's where the vampire legends come from. You now, vampire legends actually go back further than that. I mean, they were burying people in the ground with stakes through their heart in uh, Bulgaria and Romania and places like that for centuries. Mm -hmm. And who knows why? I mean, I'm not sure what all that's about. But anyway, that's our, our take on vampires. They are real. And uh, they're in every branch of the government. That's wonderful. So just another variation on the parasites, on the many pair of types of parasites we have here. Now we're going to go over to that cemetery. Let's go to the other part. Happy Halloween. Bye. Okay, we found a mausoleum, and for some reason, the gate is open. Who wants a human skull for Halloween? One, Whoa. two, two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's go in. Okay, why is that good? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's a big round one too. We'll fill inside that. Whoa, there's people's rotting bones right inside here. Is this open? Eight people. Eight? Somebody eight people? <laughs> they may well have. Okay, slam the gate on me. I'm inside the mausoleum. Forever. Oh crap! <laughs> I emerge undead. That doesn't have a big clangy clank like that gate does. That gate makes a clank. Clank this gate. Make it go clank. That's kind of clanky. How do I get out of here? All right, we're going to go look at another mausoleum. Yes. Here we are at the giant round cemetery mausoleum. And it has a lock on it. A rusty old chain, which keeps the dead inside where you belong. Look at the creepy spider web. Oh, that's some spider webbage right there. 
There's some right there in my camera lens too. This is what a haunted mausoleum is all about. Because right there in the middle, you can see that's where they do the sacrifices. At night, they all come back to life and have a weird little party inside that big round mausoleum. But not while I'm here, because that shit is scary. I don't know, I might go. Depends on if they had booze.